Mira, chicos. We're talking about neurotoxin, neuromodulators. So these are medicines we use to adjust the facial, facial musculature. I'm going to talk about how, why, and when. So the how seems pretty straightforward, but I'm really going to get into details. How, we use a 32 gauge needle to deliver this toxin to uh, stimulate these muscles or to uh, deactivate some of these muscles. So uh, one interesting thing we can do with uh, neuromodulators, we can position the brow. So there's this patient's brow. I painted these uh, facial musculatures before the, uh, before the presentation. So there's the brow. All of the different portions in the face, the different anatomical uh, locations in the face are base, held at a, with a baseline muscular tone. So think about if I put enough Botox in my bicep, my arm would extend. That's because the flexors are, are overtaken by the extensors. So uh, all these muscles have a baseline tone. There's muscles that depress the brow, pull the brow down, and there's muscles that lift the brow, pull the brow up. So if we, if we numb or paralyze the muscles that pull the brow down, then the brow will raise slightly because those ones baseline tone will take over. So that's a key way we can position the brow. Another reason how these, this medication works, it works at the neuromuscular junction. So it works at the communication of the nerves to the muscles. So your brain tells you to close your eyes, you squint your eyes, and that portion of the muscle squints. Also, the lid goes down, the eye rotates up, but we're only going to mess with the ones that squint the eyes, or we're only going to stop the communication from the orbicularis muscle. So that's how we can selectively uh, uh, modulate how the muscles work.